Big Trail Riders, welcome back to the Vady Ride. I hope you guys are doing well. The crosshair passage for today comes from he comes to us today from Hebrews 12:1, which says, Let us lay aside every weight and sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Lady Fire thought for today is that the gospel is eternal, but we do not have eternity to preach it. Brandon, the word passages for today is Luke 15, 11 through 31, John 4, 3 and through 5, John 10, 16, 1 Corinthians 7, 29 through 31, and 1 John 2, 18. The scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year is 1 Corinthians 5 and 6, Hebrews 10, Amos 4, Psalm 148 to 150. We're going to be talking today about last hour logic. When the Bible proclaims it is the last hour in 1 John 2.18, it truly is. For the message of the gospel, it is always the last hour. If you want to know how a single individual like Paul did so much, Read his disclosure to the Corinthians. He lived as if the end of all things was at hand. But this I say, brethren, the time is short, so that now, from now on, even those who have wives should be as though they had none. Those who weep as though they did not weep. Those who rejoice as though they did not rejoice. Those who buy as though they did not possess. And those who use the world as not misusing it. For the form of, eternal, of this world is passing away. 1 Corinthians 7, 29-31 The gospel is eternal. We do not have an eternity to preach it. One would think that only as long as we would live to reach those who live as long as we live, today over 5 billion souls are alive on this planet. In our present world, not in an indefinite future age that needs to be evangelized, it is the last hour. To make sure that the prodigal son was welcomed home properly, the father ran. I also want to run since the Holy Spirit charged me with this. It is the last hour. The world's airlines have found me to be a good customer. This was what a, a statement that was made by an evangelist. Airlines loved him because he spent a lot of time flying around. The world's airlines found him to be a good customer. One of Paul's favorite Greek words was spoody, meaning to stretch out the neck of a man running to get to the finish line. It is translated as study, be diligent, be earnest, hasten, be zealous, be forward. Many churches are very active doing what? To bring the gospel to the dying world is the true relevance. Giving all our thoughts to our personal spirituality when the fires of hell have broken out is like members of the fire brigade having a shave before answering a fire call. The command to evangelize is all that matters, snatching men from the flames of the eternal hell. That divine command was not given in a passing mood of our Lord. God himself is driven by the peril in which human beings stand without Christ. Calvary was his imperative. Other sheep have I which are not in this fold, them also I must bring, and they will hear my voice, and there they will be one flock and one shepherd. John 10, 16. 
run to be a soul winner. God bless you guys. I hope you'll continually follow me here on the daily ride. And I'll see you on the next trail ride.